Jigs. Now I want to move to Scotland and play and teach you a Highland medley. We'll do a march, Strathspey, can you say that? Strathspey, and reel. Um, and I'll play them all together, and, but I'll teach them one by one, um, good and slow. The march was composed in Cape Breton some time ago. It's a, an island in Canada, in Nova Scotia, that's an enclave of Highland music. Uh, called A Trip to Mabu Ridge. Then The Devil in the Kitchen is the name of the stress play, and then the real is the Mullen Dew. So here we go. That's a lot of notes there, so I'll teach it uh, tune by tune. We'll start with the trip to Mabu Ridge. It's a four-part march, and as typical with Scott's marches, the third and fourth part are elaborations of the first two parts. Um, to begin with, we should learn a uh, right-hand ornament called a snap, and a snap is a short note followed by a long one. It's down up rapidly. The right hand uh, goes like this. A variation of the snap is uh, it's done very, very rapidly. So it's an upstroke with a little bump in front of it. And we'll get to that as well. 
that same rhythm can be gotten in one stroke by hammering on with fingers of the left hand like this. If I picked it, it would be... Okay, first line of the trip to Mabba Ridge. Ah, what do you know? There it is. My right hand there, I just, um, those last three notes I get, I think, um, entirely with downstrokes. You watch my hand, don't listen to what I say, you watch what my hand really does, and uh, that's probably the best way. Okay. That's the next snap. Do it one more time. Pulling here. Moving on to the next note, uh, the next line. It's nearly a mirror image of the previous line, not quite. Line three, just like line one. And then finally, now I've heard different players phrase this last line different ways. Where they put their snap varies. It could be. But I've also heard the snap comes right before the end. Part two is the upper part. Again. Second line. And the last line is one you already know. I'll play the first two parts, of course each part's repeated twice. second part. Okay, part three. It's like part one with more notes in it. Finally, no, a little different line for this, uh, different ending. That's it. Whole third part.
Sometimes I put a little D in there. Finally, the conclusion. flow of notes, no holes in it. I'll do that again. Moving on. What did he say? I'll do it again. Part four. Sorry. Split the screen for a trip to Mabu Ridge and play along with me. Now on to the Strathspey. It's called The Devil in the Kitchen. And it's not maybe a real typical Strathspey, but it just goes so well in this medley, and I've chosen this one to teach you. It's got a whole lot of pick triplets in it, a whole lot of what's sometimes called cuts. Um, sometimes it has multiple cuts. Um, take a look at my right hand here. If I do two cuts in a row, really there's only on one note, you know, there's, there's really only two ways I can do it. I can go, the cut is down, up, down. I can either go down, up, down, 
down, up, down, twice. That's the way I like to do it. The other alternative is down, up, down, up, down, up. And that works as well. Try it both ways and see what you like. So let's learn the devil in the kitchen. First line, it's, it starts with a, um, a terrifying snap. I, I do it like this. Um, a both hammer and picket. Here it is just hammering with the left hand. You can also do it from the second fret. But I, I prefer to start with the open string. And the right hand is doing this. So I'm, but I'm also hammering with the left, so all together it sounds like this. And then we begin with a pull. Again. play that whole thing for you at full speed. I'm sorry. Now it makes sense to you, I think. Again. Moving on. Again. We do the whole thing again, and that's the first part. Okay, second part. Notice I'm getting the E with my little finger on the B string. That's so I don't have to move my pick all the way to the first string. It would be like this. Sometimes I do it that way too. Try it and see what you like. So part two. Moving on. Familiar stuff if you've learned the first part. Part two again. And then, just like the first line of the second part, and finally the last part is different. Again. Again, and then do it again. Whole second part. Part three is the first part, an octave lower. Open strings. We'll do that again. Take a look on my left hand, what I do there. I make a... Um, G note on the bass. I've still got my bass down to D for the resonance that it gives the guitar and also uh, I use that open string too. Coming right up in fact. And then... Hello. 
love the roar that it makes. Open D. So you have my permission to make a mess of it too. the high part. It's almost identical. Part four is almost identical to part two. There's one little difference. That's the difference. So here's what we've got so far for part four. lines identical to the first line and finally the ending you know that already there's one fine detail that I've uh, forgot to tell you about and that's a double cut in part two um, you know part two starts now coming up Split the screen, you'll see that happening now, you'll be prepared. Now we come to the last tune in our medley. It's a reel called Mullen Du, or the Black Mill. And we'll be using the same reel technique that I gave you in Sheehan's, but the whole feel of this tune is very, very different. Um, it uses less notes, and they're ornamented in a different way. Um, I'll play it one time for you to refresh your memory. Okay, so line by line. Now, we come to what could be a snap, or we could play it without the snap.
Sorry. That whole thing's repeated twice. That's the first part. When we come to this G, we can ornament it as. I like to kind of bounce it between G and F sharp. Or plain G's fine. Play the cut and a note. Another very sweet way to end it is hard to get at high speed. Little different ending there. Watch my left hand. Sorry. Now, if we were to play this as a two-part tune, instead of a four-part tune, the second part would be going like this. But I'm going to play that first a whole octave lower. So part two will go like this. See if you can do that. Okay, moving on. one again. Part three is just part one all over again. Okay, and then the last part. Try that again. It's a little tricky because we're crossing through, we're skipping from the first string to the third string. Let's split the screen and play Mullen Dew. 